my name's Spencer, and welcome to the Sandbot Nano tutorial video. In this video, we're going to go over some of the basic features and functions of Sandbot Nano. This robot, while it is very high tech, is very user friendly, and it comes with Amazon Alexa voice services for all your smart home needs. And after this video, you're going to be a Sandbot Nano expert. So before you start using Sandbot Nano, you need to know about Amazon Alexa, because Amazon Alexa is a big part of this robot. So if you already have an Amazon Alexa device and or account, and you already are an expert on Amazon Alexa, then you can skip to the next segment. But if you're new to Amazon Alexa, don't worry. I'll go through a quick tutorial to help you out. So the first thing we need to do is you need to have an Amazon Alexa account. You can either download the app on your phone, or go on your computer to the Amazon Alexa website and sign up. Once you have the account, go to your Nano and find the Amazon Alexa app. It's blue with a big A in the middle. And you'll hit log in. Alright, so after successful logging in, you can now use Amazon Alexa voice services. With Sandbot Nano, simply say, hi Sandbot, or hello Sandbot. Hello Sandbot, it's your service. Or touch one of the many touch sensors on his body. You'll know he's listening to you when the green light around his ear is there. Alright, so let's begin. What can I help you with? What is the weather today? Right now in Seattle, it's 57 degrees with clear skies. Today's forecast has mostly sunny weather, with a high of 73 degrees and a low of 51 degrees. Alright, so let's see uh, who won the big game tonight. What can I help you with? Who won tonight's NFL game? Here's an update on the NFL. Week 2 of the NFL kicked off on Thursday, September 14th, when the Texans beat the Bengals 13-9. On Sunday, 28 more teams will play, with the Sunday night football game featuring the Green Bay Packers and the Atlanta Falcons. Alright, so now let's say you have a few people over, you want to play some music, have a good time. What can I help you with? Play Imagine Dragons. Getting your Imagine Dragons station from iHeartRadio. What can I help you with? So those are just a few of the basic functions of Amazon Alexa. There's thousands of more skills for that Amazon Alexa has, and you can add all of them to Sandbot Nano by either using going on Sandbot Nano to the Alexa website or going to the Amazon Alexa website on your computer or using your phone app to add mm -hmm. skills to Nano. Alright, so this next part of the video is going to be a pretty fun part. With Sandbot Nano, you can play lots of somatic games, basically like a Kinect game. With these 3D cameras here, it can actually read your movements. So, we'll just go to the games, we'll choose Fruit Ninja. And let's begin. So now that it's locked on, you saw on the screen, you just raise your hands a little bit and you'll see the bar fill up and then you'll see yourself on the screen. That's when you know it's worked and then you select everything with your hands. So Fruit Ninja, instead of just swiping on the phone, now you can actually use your hands. press the home button right here back to the main menu so that's just one of many games that you can get on the Sandbot Nano App Store so log on to the App Store and have some fun so now we're going to go over Q-Link which is the Sandbot mobile app divided, uh, created by Keyhan Technology this app is very very important because it's perfect for remotely managing and controlling your Sandbot Nano. It can be found on both the Android and Apple App Store. Just go in, search Q-Link with a capital Q and L. Then, 
after you've downloaded it and it's free so don't worry then the app will prompt you to register an account make up your own username and password and then the app will send you a text verification code type that code in bam you're logged on to QLink so to add a robot to QLink you'll be in the menu and you'll hit the plus button and then hit scan on Sandbot you'll go to settings and then you'll hit about and then QR code scan it boom then after that you'll see the device name this device name is Darling 20908 that's just the default name you can change it to whatever name you want it's no big deal and it's especially helpful if you have more than one sandbox to keep them all organized okay so now onto the really cool part of QLink which is the remote control and remote surveillance so we just click this icon in the middle and then you'll see this little screen right here you can just hit play on that and now you see in real time what Sandbot Nano sees. So that's just really good for either protecting your home or, you know, oh, did I remember to leave the stove on? Well, now you can find out. So right now here we have the feet and that means the movement of Sandbot. So moving forward or left. Right, and the longer you hold on to the button, the more it'll move. And then we get to the head movement, up, down, left, right. The hands, up, down, and then also we can change the expressions. See that there. Um, the emotions don't have any bearing on the functionality of the actual robot, so changing it won't do anything. So don't worry about it if you see it with a sad face. That doesn't mean like the robot's actually sad and gonna start crying. It's just for entertainment purposes only. And then now we have text to speech. You just type in whatever you want, oh. and it'll send it. And then the smart voice. Uh, you can just hold down the microphone, issue a command, and then Sandbot will do it. And that's really so cool because you can do it anywhere. Just the remote management and everything just makes it so much easier to use and not having to be in the same room or, well, because that can sometimes be tricky. You know, we all have busy days and stuff. So it's just really good to have this remote feature here and to be able to, especially the remote surveillance, it's just really, really handy. And that's pretty much QLink, really easy to use. UI is great, usability is really easy. Uh, so that's really all you need to know about the QLink mobile app and you're gonna really like it. Okay, so this final part is gonna be connecting to friends and family. So as you saw in the QLink earlier, you can see contacts and other sandbox that you're connected to. This is a great way to have a network and to communicate between sandbots and people. So, you know, if you have a chain store and you have multiple sandbots in those chain stores, you can then call people in that store with the specific sandbot. So, real easy example, uh, here's a list of contacts with this sandbot, and we're gonna call our good friend Darren and see what he's up to. Hey. What can I help you with? How are you doing? I'm just showing people the new Sandbot Nano, and we're doing the tutorial video. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, it's a cool yeah. piece of technology. Okay. All right, see ya. And it's that easy, and then you can also just send a message if you want, text, you can audio, send pictures, files, all of that. And that's pretty much it, just another way to communicate. Well, that's it for our Sandbot Nano tutorial video. I hope you really enjoyed it, and I know you're really gonna enjoy your new Sandbot Nano. 
If you have any other questions about anything Sambot, Robotic, AI, Kihan, NPS, Q-Link related, feel free to go on our website and find our tech support page and email us there. Or you can go on our forum page, which is, can also be found on the website. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at Sambot underscore robot where you can find lots more Sandbot videos, pictures, tutorial videos, news, and just be updated on all things related to Sandbot. And we have some pretty good pictures out there, so you should give it a look. All right, take care.